Yesterday afternoon, I was briefed on the latest data that shows the virus spreading uh, more rapidly in London, the southeast and the east of England than would be expected, given the tough restrictions that are already in place. And I also received an explanation for why the virus is spreading more rapidly in these areas. It seems that the spread is now being driven by the new variant of the virus, which uh, we spoke about earlier this week and learned about earlier this week. Our advisory group on new and emerging respiratory virus threats, NERVTAG, has spent the last few days analysing this new variant. There's no evidence that it causes more severe illness or higher mortality, but it does appear to be passed on significantly more easily. NERVTAG's early analysis suggests the new variant could increase the R by 0.4, or more, and although there's considerable uncertainty, it may be up to 70% more transmissible than the old variant, the original version of the disease. This is early data and it's subject to review, but it's the best that we have at the moment and we have to act on information as we have it because this is now spreading very fast. The UK has by far the best genomic sequencing ability in the world, which means we're better able to identify new strains like this than any other country. The Chief Medical Officer last night submitted our findings so far to the World Health Organization and will continue to be totally transparent with our global partners. There's still much that we don't know. While we're fairly certain the variant is transmitted more quickly, there's no evidence to suggest it is more lethal or causes more severe illness. Equally, there's no evidence to suggest the vaccine will be any less effective against uh, the new variant. Our experts will continue their work to improve our understanding as fast as we can. So we're learning about it as we go, but we already know uh, enough, more than enough, to be sure that we must act now. So I met ministers on the COVID operations committee last night and again first thing this morning cabinet met at lunchtime to agree the following actions. First we will introduce new restrictions in the most affected areas specifically those parts of London, the southeast and the east of England which are currently in tier three. These areas will enter a new tier four which will be broadly equivalent to the national restrictions which were in place in England in November. That means residents in those areas must stay at home, apart from limited exemptions set out in law. Non-essential retail, indoor gyms and leisure facilities and personal care services must close. People must work from home if they can, but may travel to work if this is not possible, for example, in the construction and manufacturing sectors. People should not enter or leave Tier 4 areas, and Tier 4 residents must not stay overnight away from home. Individuals can only meet one person from another household in an outdoor public space. Unlike the November national restrictions, communal worship can continue to take place in Tier 4 areas, and these measures will take effect from tomorrow morning. All tiers will continue to be regularly reviewed in line with the approach previously set out, with the next formal review taking place on the 30th of December. Second, we're issuing new advice on travel. Although the new variant is concentrated in Tier 4 areas, it is nonetheless present at lower levels around the country. So we're asking everyone in all tiers to stay local. People should carefully consider whether they need to travel abroad and they should follow the rules in their tier. Those in tier four areas will not be permitted to travel abroad, apart from limited exceptions such as for work purposes. Third, we must, I'm afraid, look again at Christmas. And as Prime Minister, it's my duty to take difficult decisions to do what is right to protect the people of this country. Given the early evidence we have on this new variant of the virus, the potential risk it poses, 
Uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned. In England, those living in Tier 4 areas should not mix with anyone outside their own household at Christmas, though support bubbles will remain in place for those at particular risk of loneliness or isolation. Across the rest of the country, the Christmas rules allowing up to three households to meet will now be limited to Christmas Day only, rather than the five days as previously set out. As before, there will be no relaxation on the 31st of January, so people must not break the rules at New Year. They must, they must not break the rules at New Year. It's very, very important to, to emphasise that. I know how much emotion people invest in this time of year and how important it is, for instance, for grandparents to see their grandchildren, for families to be together. So I know how disappointing this will be. But we have said throughout this pandemic that we must and we will be guided by the science. When the science changes, we must change our response. And when the virus changes its method of attack, we must change our method of defence. And as your Prime Minister, I sincerely believe there is no alternative open to me. Without action, the evidence suggests that infections would soar, hospitals would become overwhelmed, and many thousands more would lose their lives. And I want to stress that we are not alone in this fight or in taking these types of decisions. Many of our European friends and neighbours are being forced to take similar action. We're working closely with the devolved administrations to protect people in every part of the UK. And of course, there is now real, real hope that we will soon be rid of this virus. And that prospect is growing with every day that passes and every vaccine dose that is administered. As you know, the UK was the first country in the Western world to start using a clinically approved vaccine. And so please, if the NHS contacts you, then get your vaccine and join the 350,000 people across the UK who have already had their first dose. Yes, Christmas this year will be different, very different, but we must be realistic. We're sacrificing the chance to see our loved ones this Christmas so we have a better chance of protecting their lives so that we can see them at future Christmases. And as sure as night follows day, 